Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing me for the first time, my name is Rosso. Hey, just a quick one before we dive straight into the video. My fan is on. If you are in Germany, you know that the heat level, <laughs> the heat wave in Germany, it's, it's on another level. It's on another level. I tried recording this video. I couldn't even record up to two minutes because I was actually sweating so hot right here. So please just ignore the noise. Try as much as possible to listen to me. I pray you just, you know, pick one or two from what I'm about to say. So in today's video, we'll be talking about sex. Totally different from, a, you know, totally different from our normal type of video, our regular kind of video. I will be talking about sex performance. Okay, I know it's something I have to talk about. Now, a lot of people go out there and put up performance in bed just because they want to you know impress one person i'm not i'm look this it's a general message simply means it's for both genders male and female it's not directed to a particular gender okay a lot of people go out there doing that intimate time you know to put up a show I can last for an hour. I can last for 30 minutes. I could hit you back and forth. Girls would be like, oh, I can spread. I can give you styles. I can do da 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 da. You are not doing that to perform. It should be a pleasurable moment for you and the other person. You're not going there to perform. If you want to perform, girl, you know where to go to, to do that performance. Now, it is it is so so you know funny that the society has made it look like um sex should be done in a particular kind of way before it could be called sex even the person you are even trying to get intimate with has some, some kind of high expectations um of you the type of like when they look at your body shape, they already, you know, imagine the kind of styles you can do, the kind of movement you can do with your body. And I'm like, should you define my ability in the other room with us? Is that even a thing? why my other gender or should i say my gender my gender will look at a man and would determine his ability maybe just looking at the man's um height okay if the man is short be like ah he's short maybe he's, he also have um a short thing or we look at the guy he's tall he has a big thing or a big thing you know do the work real well and a little thing doesn't and i'm like is that how we is that is that is that is that how we are doing it right now so you look at someone and you just you you, you like you picture it you you do your eva evaluation without you even tasting it sorry if i use the word taste but yeah most look it's it's crazy how a lot of people will go online and watch blue films and want to come and perform what they've watched online and sorry but you're actually performing because you're just doing what you've watched and you're doing it because you want to know if you do it if you're doing it better than the one you watched or, or if you're getting it right now you take somebody's child and that person is expecting to have you know a pleasurable moment with you without the person even knowing that you're just trying to use him or her as an experimental tool to experiment what you've watched and at the end of the day because it's not coming from your heart it's not it's not your desire it's not what you want the other person also get the vibe but i'm telling you the truth if you're before i used to you know i before i belong in the school of thought that believe that um sex is all about ejaculation sex is all about orgasm sex is all about you know having kids but in a <laughs> in the long run i got to realize that there is more to sex than ejaculation there is more to sex than orgasm there is more to sex than just having kids if you know this your sex life will really be helpful a lot of people you know go into sex without even knowing their body 
I'm going to repeat myself. Now, a lot of people start, you know, practicing sex without getting to know their body. If you don't know what your body wants, or if you don't know what your body needs, believe you me, you're not going to enjoy sex. If you like, meet the best sex giver or the best sex, I don't know how to call it. If you do not know your body, whatever that person gives you, okay, that's what you're going to take, believing that's the best thing for you. But if you know your body, and you meet up with somebody what that person gives you if your body does not receive it you won't like it i don't know if you get it if you know your body if you know how your body works sex will be pleasurable i look sex is supposed to be pleasurable and it's not a it's not it's not a it's not an act of show it's not an act for you to 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 show your skills your styles and whatever it is supposed to be pleasurable for you and your partner if when you go online and you read, you will read things like um you want to have that partner that knows how to give you all the crazy styles and everything and da, da, da. see there is a difference you trying to you know or wanting to have a partner that would give that will give you those different styles and there is a difference with you trying to have an adventure like trying to try new things trying to you know there's a different there is a different there is more to sex than all your styles and crazy and naughty stuff that you might want to think about there is a lot to that the moment you stop performing in sex or the moment you stop performing while having sex that's a moment your sex life will be pleasurable and when i talk about pleasurable i'm talking about pleasurable moment that you do not even need orgasm to help you that you do not need ejaculation to help you it will be a pleasurable moment that even your your inner like your innermost soul will tell you that i really enjoyed it the moment we start having such thoughts that's the moment our love our that's the moment our sex life will be, will be the best a lot of you go back on feeling you know maybe after having that moment with that person maybe after having that moment with that person you feel like you know let me give that person a try again and you still have the same experience you'll be like okay maybe it's just my thought you know it's just me thinking let me give that person a try again and the, the same feeling of course see don't get me wrong sometimes we have this feeling and we just ignore because we'll be like ah we're overthinking you know we're overthinking but if that feeling come more than once you need to take it seriously because it is not a joke you're supposed to be enjoying sex and not a performing it's supposed to be pleasurable the moment you have someone in your life that is just performing in that act you have that feeling of I don't want to have sex anymore i just i just i feel comfortable living alone. just i feel comfortable being alone or i feel comfortable being on myself but you're not actually feeling comfortable being on yourself you're just actually feeling comfortable not being like you're just actually feeling comfortable not acting anymore you're feeling comfortable not having that performing sex what you're craving for is a sex with pleasurable moments or what you're um, craving for is a pleasurable sex and not a performing sex the moment you find that person that will give you that pleasurable sex the, that's the moment your sex life is going to change if you stop the acting sex and just close the doors like close it shut don't act anymore and wait for that pleasurable sex believe you me you're going to enjoy every minute of your sex life you're going to you're going to enjoy it there is no two way about it it doesn't matter the crazy styles that you know the person throws at you it doesn't matter the crazy techniques the person throws at you if it is not pleasurable it is not pleasurable there is no two ways about it it is supposed to be pleasurable for you and the person and if you are not getting if you're not getting it and why are you still there? Why are you still there? Tell me if I'm missing something. Tell me if, you know, just tell me your thoughts below. Tell me if you are, if you are among those that perform doing that act. And there is a, 
see i've watched a lot of videos where um people be like um forget about all the crazy sounds you hear um, women make and we are just acting we are just giving you the ringtone that you want to hear uh, most of the time it is not even enjoyable we are just that's it that is it they're indirectly telling you that they are performing and what you have been doing it's not you've not been doing it right have you have you have you had that discussion with the guy to tell the guy hey this is what my body needs or this is what i want or this is how i enjoy sex or this is how i want i want us to be having have you you haven't you're just giving him the ringtone he wants to hear <laughs> so who, who are you fooling who are you fooling you think you think you're fooling you're fooling the guy you're fooling yourself because maybe at the end of the day the guy is satisfied but you are not you are not satisfied so i think communication here is the key you have to communicate with your partner and tell your partner what you need to insist and let him do it to you and believe you me if that communication is there you're going to enjoy every minute of it you're going to enjoy every second of it it's just all about communication guys girls that communication should be there when says if he's touching you then tell him to touch if he's touching a tell him to touch b if he's giving you the a way tell him to give it to give you the b way it's all about communication it is it's supposed to be pleasurable do not perform don't go and watch all this crazy stuff and you want to come and perform it with your partner because at the end of the day it is not what you it's, it's it's not coming from your heart it is not your ability you're just doing what you've watched allow the sex drive or the craziness and all the naughtiness let it come from your heart it, it, it should not be pushed by someone it should not be influenced by someone it should come from within and trust me it's going when it comes from within that will be the moment or the time you have that pleasurable sex that's when you will have that pleasurable sex believe you do not forget to like don't forget to share do not forget to subscribe do not forget to comment if you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching see you in my next video